So fun fact, on this channel a long time ago, I did a deep dive into Penny's character. And one of the things that I wanted to learn about Penny was what it was like when she went back to Galar. Because when she went back to Galar, it was a very interesting time frame that she went back during. Because it would have been right before or right after the new Darkest Day occurred in the Galar story events, right? But not only that, I also linked her to the character of Peonia. Because Peonia was decked out in Pikachu merch. Penny is obviously an Eevee fanatic. So I thought that this was a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee type nod. And then also the fact that they may have been rivals. But it turns out that they are sisters. Because Peony is her father. And while that's all of like a little cute reference we got going on here, it gets dark really quickly. Because that would also mean that if Peony, which it is confirmed that he is, her father, that would also mean that Chairman Rose is her uncle. Now, fun fact about Peony, in case you've forgotten, being the brother of Chairman Rose was hard for him because Chairman Rose was considered to be a very gifted individual in the region of Galar. So he always felt like he was in his brother's shadow. So much so that he became a delinquent and ran away at a young age. But eventually, he became a Steel-type gym leader within the region of Galar. So powerful and so strong that he eventually became a champion, but then later left the league once his brother became chairman. That's how evil Chairman Rose seems to be. Even though the events of Sword and Shield makes you seem like he's a misguided man. There was a lot behind this man that we really didn't get to see. Because his own brother vacated his position as champion when his brother became chairman. Chairman Rose goes on to control every single facet of Galar. Industrial, electrical you know, league sense, the face of it, you name it. Chairman Rose is literally the second most popular man of all of Galar next to Leon. Like, he is the guy that does everything for this region. And his whole backstory was, he was concerned that eventually Galar would run out of power and natural resources, so he wanted to institute the Darkest Day as a way to reinstitute power to the region of Galar. It's very similar, a little bit in vain, to the Hoenn storyline, but in a whole different light because Chairman Rose was acting basically on his own with his own, you know, organization to do this and implement this plan that he wanted. Also keeping Leon dark about it as well. Now I know, what does this have to do with Penny, right? Well, this is the part that I find interesting. Penny had to know about this, right? She had to know that her uncle did all of these things because when she got sent back, from her problems in the academies at Paldea, she would have been sent back during the time of all of these events happening. Theoretically, she would have been sent back to where her father was. But here's what's interesting. We never run into Penny at all during that time. Not one time ever. So where did she go when she went back to Galar? Did she go back to her father or... Was she living with Chairman Rose? The reason why I bring up the fact that she could have been living with Chairman Rose for a long period of time, and even when she was sent back from the academies, is because her father is not really a tech-savvy guy. This is more of a Chairman Rose expertise. Not only that, in terms of being gifted, Penny is extremely gifted, just like her uncle, Chairman Rose. Both of them share a lot of traits that make a lot of sense, that they would be able to really learn from each other. Now, I'm not saying that Penny is harboring this inner darkness because clearly her character never goes in any dark direction within the games of Scarlet and Violet. But it does seem like Chairman Rose would be the perfect one to mentor his niece in all of these skill sets that she learns before she's sent off to the Academy. And also, I can also imagine as well the Academy is probably not just accepting everyone that just floats in to Paldea. Like, you get accepted, but you also come from Galar. So it seems like the Academies now in Pokey Earth accept people from particular regions nearby, not just anyone as a whole, unless you're an instructor, and that's a whole different story. So Penny, being the daughter of Peony, a former champion, and the niece of the chairman of the Galar Pokemon League. Yeah, 
she was easily able to skate out of trouble simply because her uncle is Chairman Rose. Once he learned about this information, he was like, sure, you could stay for a year and a half and then go back. And that also allowed her to still have access to all the tech that she was able to use to keep tabs on Team Star. She couldn't have done it down in the Crown Tundra, where her father and Peonia are. In the Crown Tundra, it's more of a rural area that doesn't really make any sense for them to have this type of technology stashed anywhere. Not only that, it's a frozen tundra. It is literally as far away from Galar civilization you could possibly be. So I think that Penny has been under the mentorship of Chairman Rose for a very, very long time. Now, something else that's very interesting encompassing this particular hypothesis I'm crafting here is the fact that her entire team could have been caught at the Lake of Outrage in Galar. Now, remember, that would be right outside of Hammerlock. And Hammerlock is a staple zone within the Galar region. Now, of course, she could have caught all these Pokemon in Paldea as well, but I don't think so. Being a Galarian, she probably would have caught these Pokemon well before she even went to the academies. So I think she spent some time in Hammerlock, going to the Lake of Outrage, catching these evolutions before returning to Paldea, or she's had these evolutions for a very, very long time, which again would infer that she would have had to spend more time in mainland Galar than down in the Crown Tundra with her father and her sister. Okay, so here is the big question though. If she was spending a lot more time with Chairman Rose, rather than her father at any point being in Galar, did that mean that she was aware of what Chairman Rose was doing with Eternatus and the technology that he had utilized in order to make his dream a reality. And an even bigger question, did she participate? Because in reality, while Chairman Rose is a gifted individual, gifted individuals usually surround themselves with like-minded people. And in business, they like to include their family. So, it really wouldn't be that far-fetched to believe that he would not only mentor Penny, but utilize her expertise in helping him build his technology. The same technology that helped power the entire region of Galar and also enslave Eternatus. What I mean by enslave, I mean keep it cocooned until it was ready for his plan to be birthed. If everything I'm saying here actually lines up and is true, this explains why Penny is so withdrawn and so distant from people and shy and not willing to trust them easily. If she truly lived under her uncle's roof, this makes a lot of sense. She probably saw this man go from being one way to another way within time, working with him, studying under him as a mentor. She finally probably saw that her uncle really wasn't all there and that he was doing something that was going to absolutely destroy the region that she lived in. And unfortunately, there was nothing really that she could do about it. So in reality, I think this is the reason why Penny is the way that she is. Her uncle is probably responsible for a lot of the distrust she has for people in her life. So when she went to Paldea and experienced the things that she experienced there, that made her even further withdrawn until she met you, the main character, who she finally warmed up to and was able to gain a great circle of friends. This is what happens when certain times your uncle is who they are. And unfortunately for Penny, this is never going to be explained because I think it's meant to be left ambiguous for us to figure out on our own. But it nonetheless was something that was by far the most interesting thing to come out of the dialogue and the epilogue of Scarlet and Violet. And with that, that's going to wrap today's video. Thank you for tuning in. What do you guys think of this hypothesis? Is it true that Penny, because she is indeed the daughter of Peony, spent a lot of time with her uncle to become the person that she is today? Or is there not enough evidence to substantiate this claim? Only time will tell if Game Freak will release more information on this family's backstory or Penny's backstory. But in the meantime, just remember this is One Man's Thoughts, takes and opinions about the Pokemon world and its franchise. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, I'm Drogain, and I'm out.
Hello there Team Astral, this video is now over but there are many others to view on the channel, we'll see you next time, goodbye.